Okay, back to my goofy setup. I made some changes. And as you can see, it's actually doing what I wanted it to do. I, I simply just increased the speed, I mean the voltage to this guy, to 12 volts to this uh, little magnet rotor here, which has the four N52-7878 cylinders, and this guy has the uh, the two arms with the same thing, and now this guy has synced up. Again, attraction mode on the spiral, repulsion mode on the on the um, the two rotor interactions. So this guy is spinning this way, pushing this guy this way, and they've sunk up. And now they're flying, and now it's flying. So I don't know what this means, other than it was the five volts that wasn't doing it. I was going to start rearranging the magnets, uh, do north south north south north south, and see what that do. I'm still going to do that, but this guy is now sunk up. And what I want to try to do next is see if I can get it in um, in anti gearing. I've tried a couple of times, and I've been really successful with these guys in doing the anti gearing. The smaller, but not this. And I think it has. I think it has everything to do with the fact that this just has two arms. Maybe not. But at 12 volts, I hope this little guy doesn't burn up. It's doing okay. It's flying. Again, I don't even know what this is going to do or if it's going to do anything. What I'm actually thinking about doing later on is putting coils, leaving the magnets in here, but putting coils around, all the way around like this. Just, you know, hand-wound coils. Put them in series, maybe even... Um, I don't know, parallel series and taking that power from this guy spinning and putting it back into the pulsing coil or even back into this guy just to see if I can complete a circuit or complete the system um, yeah, that's really interesting I'm really glad about that so I did two things I changed the angle of the spiral back to what I think it should be and I increased the voltage which keeps this guy spinning at high speed before it was they were interacting and causing it to slow down speed up slow down speed up but he's been going now for a few minutes before I turn the video on and again this guy man hot glue guns greatest invention in the world holds this guy tighter than a drum all the all these parts came out of an old vcr my my tape ran out or my the time limit on, on my on my video yeah all, all, all these parts came out of an old vcr even this um um day at work <laughs> even the belt thank you so I'm kind of happy with that give you guys an overview shot I don't know if I'm doing this correctly because I can't see it so now that I'm thinking about it if it takes 12 volts to make this guy go this fast putting the coils around the I don't, I'm not going to get that much out of it so I'll have to go back to the original thought of just pulsing the, um, the rotor with a coil and still put the coils around the the inside leaving the magnets in there and see if I can get it to pulse yeah something to do on Saturday night you know when you're married and you got children hey what are you going to do huh all right there it is Messing around with this goofy setup again. Tell me what you think.